When I'm really, really nervous, when I need to calm down, I like to listen to something soothing. It depends on where I'm at in terms of if I need to get pumped up or I need to, you know, bring myself down a little bit if I'm already too excited. I listen to a lot of house and electronic music that's really upbeat and, you know, people say, oh, I just listen to that in the bar or the club. And for me, it's, it can be five in the morning and I'm listening to that and uh, it really gets me ready for, for the day and it's always positive and happy. From Blake Shelton country to like Metallica to Drowning Pool to, you know, Lady Gaga, like it's, it's just just a, it's whatever I, I need at that moment. I'm a huge country music fan, but I kind of find that that doesn't really get me <laughs> that excited. Especially when you know you're going to go to a practice that can be really monotonous and really hard, that you know, music in the back of your head really helps. I wear a Speedo because obviously it makes me look amazing. <laughs> I wear a Speedo swimwear because it's the best. It, it fits the best, they have you know, the best patterns. It's comfortable and I look really sexy in it. I've always worn Speedo and the couple times I wear another suit, I'm like, oh, this feels weird on my straps and it's like, it's not right and it's just, you know, Speedo is just meant for me. It helps me look stylish while training. <laughs> that was the only brand I ever knew really existed in the swimming world was Speedo. It's what you grew up on. I mean, we call the brief Speedo because it's, it's just what they're known for. They make awesome suits. No other company really matches the quality and, you know, the technology behind their suits. My older sister, she always <laughs> tells me, you know, do not breathe in the last 10 meters. She's like, if you breathe in the last 10 meters, I'm gonna be so mad at you. I was told when I started swimming that uh, you're not gonna like the early mornings, you're not gonna like how hard it is, but you're gonna like the people and you're gonna like the traveling. And it, it really has it, it encompassed my entire career to this point. I mean, uh, there's definitely things about it that you don't like and no one likes waking up at four in the morning like year after year after year But it's it's for like a specific reason. I mean it's so I can represent my country It's so I can represent myself and uh, I think I'm really thankful for the experience Our mentor Sylvie Pichette always says just shut up and swim <laughs> Stop complaining just swim. <laughs> the number of times I've out touched people and wondered if that's because you know I didn't read the last 10 meters and because she told me that and I, I hear her voice in my head while I'm swimming and Afraid because she is my older sister, right? So she can probably still kick my butt. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Who's Katy Perry? No, I'm just kidding. Neither. Neither. <laughs> oh, The Hunger Games, hands down. It's a really tough question for me to answer. Oh, Hunger Games. Is that even a question? Hunger Games. I haven't seen the Hunger Games movie yet. And I know a lot of people will be really disappointed in me if I say Twilight. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one in a tie right now. James Bond. I try not to, but I think that they always kind of creep in a little bit. I have a lucky sports bra. I have absolutely no superstitions. It's green. It's from Target. There was a, a suit that I had in um, in 2009. I won the Canada Cup in it, and I was like, oh wow, this suit's, this suit's good, and then I wore it the next week and I got a silver medal. World Championships in 2009, I ripped the strap, and I was like, oh man, like, I can't wear my sports bra, and then I had a horrible swim, like a horrible swim, I didn't even make the semi-final to turn I am, and I was like positive that that was why, and uh, not to mention that I'd had surgery a couple like months before, but no, it was the sports bra. The closest thing I have to that would be the music I listen to, because I think I'd be a little lost if I didn't have my iPod with me before I went up to the box. So my friend's mom so came to Rome and not just to sew my sore straw, but she was in Rome already to watch her daughter swim, and she brought like a sewing kit, and she sewed it for me, so it got fixed, and then I swam better the rest of the meet. No, I'm not very superstitious, especially during competition. I can't really afford to be with eight other girls around. I wore it every day at Commonwealth Games in Delhi, India. Like, that's disgusting, but like, I was like, I have to have this security blanket. I don't like them superstitions, but just like little things like that kind of creep in. Yeah, I wash it. <laughs> Before competition, I try and think not too much, you know, about swimming and what's coming up, just because I need to, you know, be able to relax. And when I'm away from the pool, I like to be away from the pool. I like to enjoy doing other things. I just have to think about what I got to do and, and just be confident to know that, that I can do that. I've done this thousands of times before, so it's just um, just keeping calm and keeping, keeping that confidence that I know that I can do this when it counts. Lots of land drilling, lots of going over my routine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I remember being in Beijing for the Olympics and uh, knowing that I wasn't nervous enough. I mean, I was like, okay, I'm gonna see the village and it's gonna be nerve wracking. And 
It wasn't really. It was, it was you know, it, it's cool and it's exciting, but I wasn't nervous. Usually right before I, I, I race, I think, okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do. And that just like excites me and gets me ready to swim. I'm always excited to be able to represent Canada. I'm always excited to put up my Speedo and really, you know, swim, swim that's better than I ever have before.